Yo guys, welcome back to Summer Trappin, Summer Trappin, Summer Trappin. <laughs> Episode 2 is 6.30. We've just finished personal training. Absolute beautiful day, have a look at this. And this morning's personal training session was literally run and stretch and mobility, so it was really nice to go. Little 3.5k. I've actually set myself a goal to run once a week for the rest of the year. So, so far, so good. I'm three weeks in. I think that's just a nice little different goal to have. So, today we're going to talk about my goals within the cart and sort of my training program. So, sit back, relax, enjoy. Head into Starbucks now as I've got a few hours off. Yeah. Hey guys, so far so good. We just got Starbucks. Picked up skinny latte. Calories in these: 100 calories, 10 grams of protein. Absolute madness. I was buzzing off that. And 15 carb. Um, plan is to finish editing the weekly vlog and. A video that I filmed yesterday for Future Fit. This morning's weigh in was 78.1, slightly up from yesterday. I'm going to put a picture of all my weekly weigh ins so far. Um, but like I said, I weighed myself at 5 o'clock this morning, that's why I was like, for PT, so that's not a problem. Game plan now crack off a load of work, head back to personal training. We've got a workout with Jay, uh, Jay later as well, which is going to be wicked, so I haven't trained with him in ages. I actually need to run you up to speed. So Monday, I filmed, I went to Skylark to try and work out our body fat percentages using one of their machines. It's pretty good. Don't know how accurate it is. So I'm going to insert that footage and then uh, talk to you about sort of the readings after. Hey, uh, hold up, man. I, I got something to say, man. Wait. Hey, guys. So, I like here. So we're at Skylark, it's quite a cool little gym. This is the machine that we've just used. We're meant to get a printout, like such, but the printout isn't working. We took a photo of our readers and we're just trying to work out what it is. When we know, I'll explain to you everything. Okay team, we have just got to the gym. Like I said, it's actually a back and bicep workout. I'm gonna to talk to you about my training program in a bit. Um, yeah, but I'm training with Jay and I haven't trained with Jay in ages. I was watching an old Thomas Shredden video and uh, kind of remind me. Training with Jay was a good laugh, so he's going to come. Rich has just pulled up. Rich, come over here. So, like I said, I was talking to you about my weigh-in. I'll put the weigh-in on the board on here. What it did is it came out in... It came out in kg, so my body fat in kg. And I was like, mm, how do I turn that into a percentage? Man like Rich showed me how. Yep. So I think it was, was it, can you remember how much it was? 9.9 .9 kg. Like I think I weighed uh, 70, no. Yeah, 78.9 on the, on that scales and I was 9.9 .9 kg. So what's the, what's the calculation you so do? So you do your body fat in kilos. So you take that 9.9, .9, you divide it by your total body weight, which you just said was? 79 point, no, 78.9. So you divide those two, it gives you a stupid number like point one something yeah then you times it by 100 to give you a percentage so i think it worked out to be about 12.5 yeah 12.5 percent so for a start about well like i said i don't know how accurate it is it's done for an electrical impedance to be honest i don't think it's that accurate but it's a very good start point i'm happy with that i mean if you can if you keep measuring it with that and keep it consistent then it's the same. If it goes down you know you lose yeah. it anyway it doesn't really matter what the actual number is as long as it changes yeah, the so that's the, the plan. So, the so maybe halfway through and at the end of the cart, I'll use that again. And it will, like, like Rich said, if the reading's gone down, no matter on how accurate it is, you're still your body fat's gone down. So, that's the game plan. Jay's late, he's probably having shit. But when he gets here, uh, we'll, we'll get the session on. Okay, so first main exercise, bent over rows. We're doing two sets overhand grip, two sets underground grip. Giving it quite a light today, lots of fast paced hyperdrive work. Don't 
pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love me. I don't want to talk to you and miss me. Guess I see the things that they wish, you know. Hope I got some brothers that I live with. They gon' tell the story, shit was different. God's plan. God's plan. I hope that sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good when I'm alone. Yeah. What are they doing? The studio, yeah. Daily self discovery. Yeah. Daily recovery. Yeah. They love them instead of me. But still. Next up, guys, we've got an absolute lap burner. So we're going to wide pull downs straight into the assisted pull up machine to failure. Do you want to see the show you how it's done? So, Jay. <laughs> Turn that wrong. Over here. <laughs> Go. The <to> failure. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> We got there in the end. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're reversing that. We're going to start with close grip pull down, head straight to that touch this machine, do the wides. Let's go. Two rounds. Lying bitches up from the nose, please, yeah. God's plan. God's plan. I can't do this on my own. It's to me and Team Thoreau, yeah. Holding down Colorado. Staying true to 303, yeah. I hope one day Jake see me, yeah. Some are dropping my EP. But still. Bad things. There's a lot of bad things. Yeah, so far so good in this workout. When I think about my grip there, you see that I'm not really gripping it with my fingers, I'm gripping it on the palm. And that's something I saw, I think Alex actually showed me it. Um, and it works sort of the more head of the, sort of the ball, the head of the bicep peak. So Jay's gonna try it out now, and it's just a really nice alternative. Something slightly different, so we'll show you how it gets on. So keep those elbows forward. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you absolute dickhead. <laughs> right, to finish off this pool. <laughs> finish off this pool workout with this clown. We're going to do curls to failure alternating. So instead of 21s changing the duration of the movement, we're going to change our grips and we're going to go. Five wide, five middle, five close. Jay's gonna go, I'm gonna rest. Alternate without dropping that bar. God's plan. God's plan. I can't do this on my own. It's to me and Team Thoreau, yeah. Holding down Colorado. Staying true to 303, yeah. I hope one day Jay see me, yeah. Some are dropping my EP. Still. Damn, there were some ugly breaths at the end. <laughs> oh, I'm swinging, mate. That's tough, that. <laughs> okay, that's that session box off with you, boy Jay. Slightly longer video showing you into our pool workout, but I hope you enjoyed it. You always enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah, it's always fun, mate. And uh, I'm going to go over and talk to you about sort of how I'm going to break down my training for summer shredding and uh yeah show you and if you guys want to jump on help you out okay guys so let's talk training on this cut my training i'm not gonna lie it's been a bit yo-yoed since starting that end on this program i was on it for a bit hurt my back back to ppl 
all over the show. Then I've just taken about a week off through illness. So that today sort of felt like the first proper session of some strenuous. So it's good to get a proper workout in again. So this is my game plan for uh, Summer Shredder in terms of training, especially for the first, yeah, probably the whole of it, to be honest. I'm going to run a push-pull legs, my first three sessions. And during these sessions, I'm going to make sure that I try and keep one heavy compound in. Reason for that is if I don't lift heavy, I will lose strength. When you're in a cart, you're bound to lose strength anyway. In that deficit of cal calories, it's, re it's basically going to help. Uh, going to put your strength right down so by pushing as much weight as you can each week you're just preventing it for as long as possible if not you could probably maintain so push ball legs making sure i do a compound movement for each of them my then next two sessions are going to be upper and lower and they're going to be a lot faster paced um a lot less rest time sort of like hit workouts but trying to target those different muscle groups and I'm looking at about an hour for those sessions. Like I say, hypertrophy work, faster pace. I'm then going to do an extra session. So I normally only do five sessions. Now I've started to cut, I'm going to do an extra session. And I talked about it in this weekly vlog. And it's going to be a stretch and mobility session. The reason for that is because one, mobility is awful. And two, this longevity within fitness that I'm on this hype at the minute. So stretch mobility but before you do that i'm going to hit 45 minute cardio session so that's going to be probably my longest session out of the lot because it'll be about 45 minutes of cardio and then 45 minutes stretch mobility i'm going to try and hit cardio three times a week so once on that stretch mobility days and probably the lower the legs day and the lower day so that's my three times of hitting cardio and then i want to hit abs twice as well and I'm just going to chuck those in on whatever sessions I fancy. So that's sort of the game plan for the cart, especially the starting point in the, probably the first six weeks. I think it's going to be a really good uh, program. I'm going to hit every muscle group try. I'm going to get three sessions of cardio. I'm going to hit an abs. And also, like I said, I'm going to do that run. Not in, I might include that in my cardio. I might not. But I'm going to hit a run once a week definitely throughout this car as well so that's the training program that was a workout with jay as well what else did we have oh and we have my body fat percentage so that is it for episode two if anything drastically happens uh before between now and when i upload this video i might stick it in i might also do a check-in as in so we're on wednesdays so with six day five days in we start on friday I might do a check-in on friday just show you the condition if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. If you've somehow reached my channel and you're doing the summer shredding, let me know down below. I'd love to check out your channel, check out a few of your videos. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, Oh Lord, here they come.